The city of Edmonton has started clearing out homeless encampments in the downtown core it deems high risk. It follows a court battle earlier this month to address how encampments are taken down and an emergency court injunction that briefly postponed the plan to do so. One of those conditions agreed upon in court is to ensure there is enough shelter space available for people being forced out. Police also need to notify the encampment residents as well as social agencies in advance. My next guest was on the scene as police and city workers cleared out an encampment this morning. Nadine Shalifu is chairperson of the Edmonton Coalition on Housing and Homelessness, and she joins us from that city now. Nadine, thank you so much for making time for us. Thank you for having me. Nadine, tell us, uh, walk us through what you saw earlier today during these evictions. Well, what I saw was... Um, people frantically trying to grab as much possessions as they could and take them with them before police came and the city brought in the trucks to take everything else away from them. I saw people scrambling to help these people as well to get this stuff loaded and moved to a new location. Nadine, under last week's injunction, police are required to give residents advance notice of a clear out. From what you're telling us, it seems like People were scrambling. It didn't look like anybody knew that this was coming. Is that what you saw? So it's a 48-hour uh, notice that they have to give both the agencies and the people on site. And even though the 48 hours was given, um, some people were able to get out yesterday, uh, but some were still left scrambling with their stuff today. It's hard to uh, load up your entire belongings into one basket and carry it with you to a new place and be expected to do that within a, the, the hour. So they end up scrambling last minute as well. Edmonton police have designated these encampments as high risk. We saw just a few hours ago the city put out a, a statement saying uh, this is basically to protect the very people who are living in these encampments. What is your response to that? There is no protection again for them. They're basically taking these people, kicking them out of the spot they're in already with the stuff they've gathered to help protect themselves, keep themselves safe. That includes blankets, IDs, you know, uh, maybe some memorabilia of family that they carry with them. The stuff is immediately lost if they can't carry it out in the time frame given. But they're not given a place to go to. There is no shelter space for them to go to. We're talking about hundreds of people and only a few shelters have any space to give. With that space, that means that these people are just going back onto another spot of the street somewhere else and staying there until they're removed from that place too. The injunction that we, we just talked about, this, this temporary injunction, also required that there be adequate shelter space to accommodate the displaced residents. You're saying that for many of these people, uh, there won't be. Where are they going to go? to another corner of our city, somewhere else to hide, or maybe even a more dangerous area of the city where there's high gang uh, activity or just violent activity constantly going on in certain areas. So this makes the safe places they just found and have accomplished and made a community of is now being dispersed and putting into more dangerous positions. Nadine, I know that your group has been asking the public to come to witness uh, uh, these evictions. Uh, can you just tell me why you would like uh, members of the public to see this? So our goal is to have members of the public come join us, witness the process of this disassembling of encampment and see how nasty, brutal and how in, uh, inhumane it is towards these people who have made shelters their structures, their homes, and they're getting destroyed. And so if we can um, bring more awareness to the public, then the public can actually understand what's going on and why it is not such a great idea to dismantle them and rather force the government, city, the provincial, the federal, to fund more housing rather than shelters. Thank you so much, Nadine. Nadine Shalafu is the president of the Edmonton Coalition on Housing and Homelessness. Thanks for making time for us, Nadine. Thank you.